Hi hey friends, I'm Chorav. Welcome to Technical Skills Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install multiple fields version in a single development server. Here I am using server version Ubuntu 20.04 and also here I am using Google Cloud Platform. <laughs> So generally, a host manager uses a separate server of for each PHP version application deployments, uh, which increases the hosting cost. Right, but uh, some of the host manager are using the Docker uh, to run multiple PHP version on a single server. Here also, most of the you are aware of this configuration. I use in this tutorial but some of the system administrators are not aware of this so this tutorial will help you install multiple phd version with this uh, on a single server so linux uh, without any uh, any switching phd version so let's do practical so here uh, you can see that is my google cloud platform dashboard so i have already logged in so that so now i'm just create a server for my uh, my application hosting so i'm just go to uh, vm instance so now create so i'm just uh, type the name that is uh, my server my server mm -hmm. and region is as uh, for default i'm i'm nothing to change right now so machine and server configuration 2 core and 4 GB memory is for enough for my uh, 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 server uh, right now I am just changing the operating system so here I am click on Ubuntu and version is 20.04 uh, LTS so and hard disk is 20 GB for enough for in this um, for testing video so now I am uh, allow HTTP and also um, if you want to uh, HTTPS, you can click on that. So now I'm just created. So now you can see uh, that my server is a uh, server or instance is running, it's ready. Now I'm just uh, go to console in my server. So that is my uh, server, production server. Uh, so I'm just trying to the root. So now, now I'm just maximize. That is my storage is 10 GB. You can see here is the is the one. Okay. So now, first of all, I am just install uh, Apache. So I have already created my document. Say documents here. You can see uh, that is my document. So I'm just flow this uh, document. Okay. So, main thing is that uh, here I am using the PHP version, multiple PHP version in in a one server, right? So, let's do first of all. First thing is that I am just first command is sudo apt update get. Uh, here I am using Control Shift V for testing. So next command is that. I'm mean, use here that sudo apt install apache lib apache to mode fcgid. Yes, I want to install. Installing. Next, uh, first step is done. Uh, first step is install apache is done and also apache lib apache mode fcg cdid. In second step is I install the PHP version. So all thing. So now I am just copy the first command here. Next, I am just pretty uh, add for uh, some repository for install some packet. Enter. Uh, done. Now I'm just one second uh, update TPT update. So update.
it now I have just now I am installed PC version 5.6 you can see over here now I am just run the PHP uh, for install PHP 5.6 command yes I, I want to install PHP 5.6 version so installing the PHP 5.6 now uh, uh, before here I am taking this PHP version you can see now PHP version is 5.6 right once again I am just show you right now PHP version 5.6 it means 5.6 installed now I am going to install uh, PHP version latest version uh, 7.4 so yes yes I want to install uh, PHP version 7.4 Uh, yes, on uh, which is version 7.4. Now I am checking the version. You can see now is update, uh, not update. Now is another version which is 7.4 is installed, right? Right, so it means uh, here is one server, but uh, I have installed the two PHP version one is 5.6, another is 5.7.4, right? So now I am just configure for using the uh, separate. So first of all, I am just install uh, here uh, for configure Apache with multiple PHP. For first command is that for uh, that that is for uh, e to, uh, a to enable action for H F G C A proxy. Okay. So now I am enter. So now restart to restart Apache. So done. Next, I am just create a. Uh, two version two or brick three for check uh, my uh, my version is working or not. Okay. So first of all, I'm create one. So the directory name is uh, for var five point six. That is my that is my project directory. Right. So another is same uh, seven point four. Here. Uh, that is my 7.4 project directory. If you want to go there, so cd. So you can see uh, that is my uh, project directory. So here for PC uh, version 7.4, right? So now is done. Uh, now I'm create a uh, info PHP PHP info file for testing. Testing uh, first command is that. So that is echo and uh, php info uh, for php info and that for index.php uh, uh, php info is uh, for that that command that uh, file is for uh, you are showing that all php version uh, about the php version is it php module everything for about the php right so now another i am just create for php next uh, for index php testing index Okay, echo was created. Now, if I want to check that is created or not, I am just go to here and PHP 5.6. PHP, so here. So you can see that is one file index file is created. dot PHP. If you want to the, uh, see, want to the uh, want to the see the content. So now you can check it. That is content uh, for PHP info right about the PHP info. So now, now I'm just move here over here. Now, so here you can see uh, that is two project. So now I'm just go here. Enter. You can see two project. One is 5.6. Another project is PHP 7.4. Right. So now I'm doing to virtual host for uh, PHP version separate version use. Okay. So now I'm just create a file for PHP 5.6. That is my PHP virtual virtual host here. So here, uh, that is my PHP 5.6 uh, six virtual host entry. So here you can see uh, that is document root here bar double PHP 5.6. Okay, so uh, everything. So and right now is I am just set for. You can see uh, that is that is main part of the 
uh, uh, multiple PHP version. So set hand set set handler and proxy. And I'm using that uh, PHP version for point six FPM. Right. So now I'm just uh, save for file. Okay. Uh, so now I'm do another another virtual host. So one is set to another virtual host for uh, similarly create a second virtual host configuration file to work at PHP seven point seven point four. Right. So now I'm just go here. Just copy. Mm, first of all, I'm just go PHP seven profile here. So here I am just to run uh, just edit uh, the change frame. Okay. So here I'm using frame. So now I'm copy the virtual host host content. So for that is virtual host content. Now I'm just over here. So uh, you can see. So we can see uh, that is for our oh, virtual host, uh, a virtual host for the name server PHP seven point uh, PHP seven four in dot example dot com server that is document root uh virtual PHP seven point seven four and that is also directory. Uh, you can see over here uh, that that is main thing of the part of of our PHP uh, here using for uh, PHP 7.4 right so now now it's done now I'm just exit and save save and exit double for save and key for exit right? now I'm save it now do one thing I'm just enable the two config configure file for over here right so first of all I am just um, uh, enable to do virtual host configure file first of all uh, yes, so now I'm system detail for reload FG. Second is that. So, okay, so now one second uh, Apache uh, is reload. Yeah, uh, now is ready. So, for PHP virtual host, right? So, now one second I'm just going to uh, just going to uh, restart after, after making actually after all you are just change the uh, change the base of the you wish to do Apache start setting everything so that way I'm just restart Apache service right it's working now it's now I'm just going to test my virtual host or my PHP version multiple PHP version work and not now right so now do one thing uh, so now I'm just I uh, take the Apache Apache CPL uh, CPL minus P uh, now I'm just uh, take the Apache config file its content is uh, right or uh, syntax and okay it's not but you can see here I can see uh, syntax all syntax is okay so now I'm just uh, change my uh, uh, just change my server uh, host testing host uh, host np4 so now I'm just uh, host np in my local system for testing my virtual host is working or not so now I'm just uh, cmd here I'm right click on the run on the administrator so now I'm just go or by driver and so it see here not fat not fat air host so you can see that is my local host file right so now here i am just uh, go to the my server uh, so here it, that is my server name one is server name here over here and just to go the server name mm, second is seconds my my server version or server uh, here I'm just go into the host entry like that is my domain right for taking another separate PC person okay so now I'm just go to the server uh, in my Google Cloud here I'm just copy my live IP or my server uh, server IP mm, so then mm, I press here one second I press here and tap now I'm save it save it now I'm just exit from here okay so now uh, my virtual is completed for multiple uh, PHP version also installed okay so now I'm just taking so here uh, you can see that is why I have created two PHP um, multiple PHP version on two virtual host one is for a uh, five PHP 5.6 and another is for PHP 7.4 7.4 so now I'm first all off in the one mm, one uh, uh, server one or uh, one PHP version you can see one project so is you can see that is PHP version 
uh, 5.6 this means if you want to your project version so and you need to 5.6 or 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 backend version so or backend version so you can use here and another another um, version so you can if you want to latest version so I I you can use or use PHP 7.4 you can see over here I did that is the PHP uh, 7.4 okay so this is one server you can see this is one server one server is server but here I am using multiple PHP version. Okay, you can use your as your project as your project. So definitely you can use your PHP multiple version. So that's all in this video. So if my video is any help to you, so then and please like and subscribe my channel. Uh, my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Have a nice day.